Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I will be talking about this Garni Green Loves Brightening Gel Wash Pina C. So this is how it looks and this is the actual packaging of the product. It says that this is gentle scrub free gel wash removes makeup and impurities and smooth texture for brighter glowing skin. So by the way, this video is not a sponsored video. Everything that I say in this video is of course based on my own and based on my personal experience after using this Garni for almost two weeks. So if you are interested in purchasing this product, I purchased mine at Target, online at Target and uh, they have different varieties so they have the melon flavor which is like a milky consistency so maybe if you have sensitive skin i would always recommend for something that is milky and the other one is the cannabis which is it it can deeply cleanse the pores and that is for an oily skin types if you have an oily skin and this one is for the pina c that i choose is for brightening so if you have dull looking skin then uh, you may choose this one so it says that it an even out skin tone. This is a vegan formula, no sulfate, no microbeads, no paraben or dye. So now back on the topic, I'm going to share my personal experience after using this one. So as you know, I've been repeating that I have a normal dry skin tone and I choose this one, which I would say that if you have a very sensitive skin, don't choose this uh, pineapple one because the moment that I consistently use this one onto my face, I feel like it hurts a little bit and there is a roughness feeling onto my skin when I'm going to touch it. So later on, I'm going to show you a raw footage or actual footage when I am using this product. So I'm going to insert that clip later. So I would not recommend this one if you have a very sensitive skin and also it makes my skin dry. So honestly, if I will not apply any moisturizer after applying this or after using this Pina C, uh, my skin is just really rough and when I look at closely in the mirror, I did not see any exfoliation effect So I don't know. It's just maybe my skin don't like it So we all have different skin types So it doesn't mean that this one is not working onto my skin Then it's not gonna work onto your skin So all you have to do is of course to listen onto your skin Maybe your skin would love it and maybe this is just not for me So as you know, I love Garni products, but this one I feel like this is just really strong onto my normal dry skin type so maybe the next time i'm going to choose the watermelon which is the milky so the main ingredient of this pina c is that it contains vitamin c and pineapple and we all know that this is very high of antioxidants which is really great for our skin and vitamin c and pineapple is really great especially if you have a dark spots and like that but of course you're going to apply some treatment also after using the gel wash because it's not gonna work if you're just applying this one and you're hoping that uh, your dark spots will be removed and you're not putting any treatment so this is just a facial wash so honestly when they say that it can remove makeup which is really true and this don't have a bead or something like a sand or pebble so if you already have an acne and then you're going to wash this one onto your face it's not painful because it don't have the tiny beads and it's just really gentle onto the skin the only problem is that um my skin is really dried after applying this one so i have to use a moisturizer every time i wash this one because i really feel that my skin is so rough so this is not really for me so as i've said a while ago that makes my skin a little bit drier after applying this one and when i'm going to touch the texture of my skin it's really rough so that's the reason i applied moisturizer i would say that it gives a glowing effect but it's just that if you have a super dry skin, I won't recommend this one. Maybe try the milky one because this one is just maybe too strong for my skin. So anyway, before I'm going to end this video, I'm going to show you the actual consistency. I almost forget about it. So I was using a cam Samsung camera there in the bathroom. So maybe it's not really obvious. So here I'm using my camera. So I'm going to show you the actual consistency of this one before I will end my video. So it's jelly consistency and it's very watery. It's easy to blend, it's easy to apply. So that's the actual consistency. So as you know, this product won't give a lot of bubbles and it don't have a bead as mentioned earlier. So we, you all you have to do is just to massage your face and just rinse it uh, after massaging your face. And this is very easy to rinse. So that's the good thing about this product and it won't give you like a sticky feeling. So anyway, if I'm going to rate this one, I'm just going to give 7 because of the fragrance. And for me, honestly, I love anything that has a fragrance. 
in terms of the smell because sometimes it's just refreshing that you're putting something like a scented thing on your skin however for the fragrance this is not really good if you have a sensitive skin because sometimes as i've mentioned in many of my vlogs fragrance can trigger sensitivity onto your skin so if you have a very sensitive skin try to avoid any fragrance so this one uh the fragrance is a little bit stronger but the smell is fresh so it's not annoying scent it's just that you can really smell the fragrance when you're applying this one onto your face so anyway my last thought about this product is that i'm not going to recommend this one because i feel like yeah if you have a very sensitive skin it's just not right to use this product it's just so strong because based on my experience i feel like it hurts a little bit so i'm not going to recommend this one um I'm not going to recommend this one and I don't hate the product but I don't love the product too so it's just like a 50% and 50% so it's all up to you it's your discretion if you're going to purchase all I can say is that I don't hate the product but I don't love the product so I don't know it's just like in the middle of it so I think I will still be using this one sometimes but I'm not going to use this one every day anymore uh, because of the feeling that it's just really strong onto my skin but you can always give it a try because we all have different skin types and skin tones so you might love this one and it's just me maybe that I don't like it so it's just like a love that uh, you don't love the person but you can't let go and talking on this product it's just like I don't hate the product I don't but I don't love the product and I can't let go it's just something like that there's something that I'm holding on this product so maybe I am not throwing this one in the trash can yet but as what I've said I don't love the product but I don't hate the product so anyway thank you so much for watching and yeah if you do enjoy this video and I am trying to make a short video but yeah I don't know if this is a long video anymore because it feels like I love talking today so yeah Thank you so much for watching and yeah, I hope to see you on my next one. Bye bye!